If my neighbor has not received it yet, Lord, let me tell them now. It's not I who give, but you yourself. I can only share the news. There is a gift. The creator of all the heavens and all of earth and everything that is on it and in it has given every man and woman and child a gift, a once-off, a gift that can never be repeated. We got lost because we chose the ways of Satan, but you gave us a gift that is able to save everyone who receives it. The Greek word for receive is lambano. It means to take hold, to attain, to seize, to hold on to. Lord, if I give someone a gift and they say thank you, but they do not take action to take hold of it, grab it, or accept it into their own hands, how can this gift be given? It's an action that must take place. You gave us the greatest gift any person alive could ever receive, everlasting life. This life, this eternal existence is found in Jesus Christ. To receive Jesus is to receive your kingdom, to take hold of your kingdom, taking it into our hands and placing it in our hearts. Lambano. We don't just hear about the gift, know about the gift, learn about the gift, or talk about the gift. We receive it, grab it, take hold of it, make it our own. We now possess it. We're even able to share pieces of it. Lambano. By actively receiving Jesus, it means that we become different because of this gift taken into our hearts. Our action is faith. It's real, truthful prayer in the Spirit. We believe and trust and hope and love. These are all actions of receiving. It's change, Lord. We cannot receive Jesus and remain the same. If we remain the same, it means that we're missing something. We've not truly done what Lambarnu means. We've not truly, actively received Jesus. When your kingdom comes into us, because of Jesus Christ living in and through us, our lives become filled with actions of faith and love and hope and trust and joy. This light, the light of Christ begins shining in us like a lighthouse looking out over a dark raging sea. The light flashes in all directions. It warns. It gives new direction to those sailing upon the waters of the sea of worldly distractions, pitfalls that so easily shipwreck us and destroy everything we are. Jesus Christ is not motivation, not just an example, not a concept or self-motivational program. No, Jesus Christ is the way, the life, the truth, and the door. Nobody ever, ever gets to the Father except by Him. His precious blood is what saves us. The sacrifice was for us, each one of us. Jesus is our coming and our going. He's our ever-present help in trouble, our comforter through the Holy Spirit, our friend, our guide, our protector. And everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will most definitely be saved. Lambano. We receive you, Jesus. You have come. Now we take you, ourselves, into our hearts. We change. We become truly alive, guided and loved and renewed, reborn by our 
precious Savior living inside us. We pray this in His holy and almighty, wonderful name. Amen.